You know, I am loving this whole announcement from the uh, Harris campaign and her being presented as an actual nominee now because y'all are giving me a ton of free content because I like to educate. I'm like, I really want to educate somebody because y'all are really be just the community just really pissed me off. So with this whole thing of her being a DEI hire, I ain't even going to go on that because it, that, that's, that alone just shows how racist you are to talk about somebody as a DEI hire. And not just with her being a VP, because if that's the same thing, you say she's a DEI hire, then so was Biden when he got put in to help out Barack Obama as a VP. He was a DEI hire. But for this woman, for this bitch to sit here and say that she was. Well, every time that someone tried to interject the truth about Kamala, which is that she slept her way to the top. She slept her way to the top. How do you sleep your way to the top? Like, I, for, I mean, in certain, and now I will say this, in certain uh, corporate positions, absolutely you can. But I could argue the same thing about her. She went and grifted over to the other side so she could now hate on black people and talk down to the black community, which is why I don't understand how the Breakfast Club even had her on and didn't even grill her the way that she should have been grilled, asking her why she's trying to come back over to our side because people had cut her off. And her own dude had cut her off and kicked her off his whole platform. And now you want to sit here and talk about somebody slipped away to the top. I can argue that she did the exact same thing, too. But here's the thing that killed me, though. One, she, she, she said her political career. And so I guess what kills me, y'all know so much about these federal positions, when it, especially when it comes to a black person. Y'all know about their entire background. Y'all can argue with people all day long about what you think they've done. And, and, and you have proof behind that. But. You can't even tell me who your local people are that actually can make a benefit and a change in your life, that actually can make change in your community. You don't know who your district attorney is. You don't know who your sheriff is. You don't know who your city mayor is, your county executive, your state legislator, your state senator, your treasurer, your state school superintendent, your commission of agriculture, your commission of insurance, and your commission of labor, the state supreme court justices, your attorney general, your secretary of state, your lieutenant governor, and the actual governor of your state that you represent. And if you do, you are not there bashing them. Because, I mean, how do you sleep your way to being an AD? How do you sleep your way to being a DA? What, she smashed everybody within that county or district to get them to come and vote for her? Like, those are our elected seats. I don't care. And if she was cheating on with some 61-year-old man, I mean, that ain't my business. What people do when they bed outside of their actual jobs, I don't care. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't, as long as how you act when you're in your position, that's what I care about. And she actually did a lot. I, again, I did research. She actually did a lot for the black community in California. Now, that, I actually had to go back and do some research. If you didn't see my video from yesterday, go back and look at my video yesterday. I didn't address some of those things, but I did address that. I did research on her supposedly locking up all these black people when it was really only 45 out of 19. So, um, and they did it. I mean, I can't, you know, if if, if, Mar if weed is illegal, weed is illegal. So, I mean, you don't want no smoke coming your way. Don't be participating in stuff that's going to get you locked up. I hate to say it that way, but it's actually the truth. I don't think people should be getting all the time that we used to, we, that we got when it comes to low level crimes. I don't think that, but I mean, at the end of the day, though, what my parents always taught me, same thing I teach my boys, you don't want to be a part of the system. Don't play the game that you could potentially be a part of the system. At the end of the day, I mean, no matter, regardless of how you feel, if you don't want to be a part of the system, don't play the game to become part of the system. Now, of course, in the black community, we have people showing up shooting us for no apparent reason whatsoever. But I'm saying if you are committing a legal activity, then you should understand your consequences and repercussions that could potentially come along with that if you're caught. But now my thing is, though, you cannot sleep your way into elected seats. And it kills me that y'all know so much about people who are in federal positions or when it's a black, but specifically when it's a black person, you know so much about their past and why you have disdain against them, but you don't even know the people that can actually make change in your life. And you definitely ain't clapping at them. Y'all ain't clapping at these sheriffs. Y'all ain't clapping at these sheriffs. They be coming out here causing all this harm in y'all community in our communities. Y'all ain't clapping at them. Y'all definitely not clapping at these DAs that participate in some of that stuff and prosecuting our people. You aren't saying anything to them. You aren't clapping at your local governors. You aren't clapping at your community leaders. You aren't clapping at any of these people. I don't see none of y'all coming at any of y'all local people. My people, you always got smoke when it comes for a federal person. You know all the background about this person and how they shouldn't be supported. But the people that can actually make change in y'all life, you don't know none of these people and you don't say nothing about these folks. And if some of y'all do, it ain't none of these large platforms. Y'all always got something to say about a federal person. Like the brother in my chat yesterday said, what has she done for community? I don't know. What have, what, have, what have you done in the community? Like, what, what are you getting out petitioning for? What have you presented to your local elected officials that actually have them represent and actually try to sponsor a bill for? What have you done to do that? You haven't done any of those things. How do you, have you actually gone to your 
councilmen to actually ask them to present a policy within your local your local state stuff? Have you did any of that? You have you actually have gone down to your capital to try to talk to some because it's I mean it's open to the public. You really can go up in there and talk to some of these elected officials. Have you done any of those things? We don't do that stuff. But yet we always got some kind of smoke for our people that's all the way up top. This is one thing I tell y'all all the time. I'm, I'm really going to keep enforcing this because I'm going to do this this whole election cycle now. Y'all need to get out. Y'all need to be active. And when you start worrying about things and you aren't doing anything on your local level, you can shut the hell up. Because if you aren't doing anything on your local level, you're not actually out fighting somebody. You aren't volunteering. You aren't active in your community. Bro, you ain't got an opinion about nothing because your opinion ain't going nowhere because you aren't doing anything to try to make a change in nobody's life outside of pushing smoke and pushing narratives that ain't going to do nothing but sit on the internet and just piss people off. And maybe that might be what you want. But, I, you know, I think we need to start making some change in our community and we definitely got to start on a local level and stop trying to come at people on a higher level because even if they're trying to push a policy on a higher level, the state can always block it. Like I showed you yesterday with Kemp in Georgia blocking federal funding to go towards uh, food programs in the summer. So, y'all get out, be active, be safe. Love y'all.